Well, I can remember, aloha first, aloha to everyone, for sure. Um, uh, it is very, very powerful when you, uh, and I'm, I'm so glad the uh, uh, le uh, legislators, Ron and, and Clarence, are here uh, for this because they, they, they know what I'm, uh, they'll know what I'm talking about here. Jimmy, too. Uh, it's very, very powerful when you're in public office and you have all the cliches that come about doing good and public service and uh, being able to reach out and give back to the community or help it to be a catalyst for something good happening. And, 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 you, and you believe it and you like to do it and it happens for sure. But it's very powerful when you see something uh, that you otherwise, if you were not a public official or not, did not have uh, committee responsibilities in terms of subject matter or something like that, very, very powerful when you see something that you know is going to change, is a change agent. And what I'm referring to now is goes all the way back to, and I, I dredged this up uh, from uh, um, more than a year ago, uh, uh, from a, 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 an announcement in Hawaii, uh, Pacific Business News. Why invest in Hilo Biofuel and High Protein Feed Program, the original $200,000? And, uh, and I was at the plant and could see what, well, I'm calling the plant. I don't think we it was even reached that stage. You could say that then. You know, it was, it was more like a demonstration. You know, we also have pilot programs, and so many times again as legislators, there's pilot programs, and then everything disappears onto the shelf. It never, it, it doesn't get past that. It was a good idea, good intentions, and congratulations all around. Maybe a, a human interest story in the Sunday paper, or, and it and it goes away. Maybe a TV ten seconds between the murders and the and the fires, and it goes away. But, but this it had such potential. It was clear there was such potential. I remember leaving that day thinking, Jesus, I wish for once this would actually work. You know, this is, you know, and I gave credit. I really wanted to be there. I enjoyed it because uh, uh, and, 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 you could see the potential. And I remember thinking, Jesus, I really, really hope that, that, and we should get behind it. We should get behind it. And that's what this is uh, today. Um, uh, Although it's interesting, D K I P B A R C, right? I don't think we want to get through all, go through all of that. But but um, when the, think about it for a second, Pacific Basin Agricultural Research. There it is, right? Pacific Basin Agricultural Research. We're either behind it or we're not. And in this particular instance, the combination uh, that is going to back up the Daniel K. Inouye, uh, 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 P. Bark uh, opportunity. What are we talking about? Zero waste biofuel, high protein feed program. I mean, that says everything about what we need to do uh, in Hawaii agriculture. Uh, just by coincidence, uh, Jimmy and I have, uh, especially in the last uh, uh, 10 days or so, been in situations, and I've been in, in debates, in pol this political season, been in debates, talking about uh, uh, agriculture and its future and so on, and meeting with farmers, meeting with agriculturalists all across the state, the feed situation is the difference between profit and loss. The, the main difference, especially when it comes to cattle, when it comes to dairy, uh, uh, as to whether or not we can get an industry, uh, uh, reestablish an industry in Hawaii for the 21st century. If we solve the feed prob uh, uh, challenge, we're, 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 we're way on our way. I don't want to say 90 percent, but, but we're, we're, it, it solves all kinds of problems uh, for us. And, and the question then of, of biofuels as well from waste um, is, is, is just enormous. It, it would otherwise be waste. So uh, all I'm saying at this stage uh, uh, whether, uh, with Biotorque and, 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 and uh, with PBARC itself and the USDA that we couldn't be more pleased to be here. And I can t uh, just say in, in conclusion, just speaking of the, of the state and the legislature, uh, it's, it, 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 symbols count. And the fact that the that, uh, that, uh, legislature and the state administration is represented here today by those who, can, who, who have the aligned responsibility for seeing to it that we back up our words with legislative and executive deeds, I think speaks to our confidence uh, that you folks are going to succeed. At, and at a minimum, you're going to have every uh, avenue of assistance made available to you uh, from this administration, this legislature. That's a fact. Ken? Governor, I really have no, nothing more to add. I'm, I have the supreme um, 
privilege of being able to introduce uh, Dr. Lisa Keith, who is the program manager for the Pacific Basin Agricultural Research Center and will be heading the papaya project. Congratulations. Thank you. Please. On behalf of the Daniel K. Noy Pacific Basin Agricultural Research Center of ARS in Hilo, uh, we extend our huge thanks to you, Governor Abercrombie, and the state of Hawaii for your support in this collaborative research project. The zero waste efforts uh, redirect waste streams to create high value products, which will help not only the sustainability of Hawaii agriculture, but help alleviate energy and feed concerns of the state. And this type of project would not only be a success for our state, but serve as a model for the entire world. And so thank you so much for Great this. Pleasure. Thank you. So stay up here. <laughs> Additionally, we'd like to bring up Udi Kusi, who is with Baltar Kauai LLC. Thank you. Thank you very much, Governor. Oh, I'll help. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, I wanted to thank you very much for your vision and your support because I think vision is a very key word here. Um, you know, um, the Z state um, has been, um, you know, involved in this project now for three years in a row. And uh, we are very happy, you know, to uh, go to the net next step. I also wanted to uh, thank very much, you know, Scott and Wright, who has been very uh, helpful. And especially, he's on the big island. Yes, he's on the big yeah. island today, so I learned. I also wanted to thank very uh, much, you know, and especially Jimmy Nakatani from ADC because he has been very supportive and, and from day one, and uh, without him, we could not have done that. Um, also wanted to um, thank Denis Gonzalez, you know, who was, you know, the ex director of PBARC. Uh, you know, this is through him we shook hands, you know, a few years ago. and. Um, He's the one who basically, you know, put me on board and said, you know, Ud, with your technology, you can really help the state and let's do something together. And so I really wanted to thank him, you know, even if he's not here. Um, also wanted to thank, you know, Senator Couchy because, you know, also he has been very helpful and very supportive. And also wanted to thank, you know, Senator Nishiara, you know, for his support too. Um, um, you know, in this uh, particular time, um, we went, you know, from uh, lab scale and and pretty successful lab scale with with PBARC. and today we are very happy you know to go now to a much more you know bigger scale, and uh, we intend to show to the state that we can very quickly now uh, produce you know those compounds with uh, our in waste. We even don't consider that waste anymore, oh, okay. but byproduct, mm -hmm. and um, I and. Won't use that word <laughs> Um, uh, we call that byproduct, you know, because really uh, this is what it is. You know, you have a fantastic state here, and um, you are going to be the showcase of this technology. And uh, again, thank you very much for your help and, and your support. Thank you. Pleasure. Please stay. And uh, I just want to make sure that everybody knows that Justin will be reporting uh, a little bit later on. Right there, that this is not the governor's drug test. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, it's not uh, we're not being tested for performance enhancing drugs or anything <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay. At this point, I would just like to um, ask Mr. Jimmy Nakatani, the, the, the executive director of the Agribusiness Development Corporation, to please come up and present the check. And let's put this, we're going to get this down first. Center, center, you know, for everybody? Yep, okay. Okay. Right here. One, two, and three. 